Let's take a look at normal distributions, uh, finding probabilities, and specifically looking at one item. An example is the the example might say uh, find a probability uh, that the average age of one person is greater than 50. So we're talking about one individual, one um, person, one book, one once um, whatever it might be. Now here's our flow chart for finding the probability. If it um, says standard normal distribution, then will you do this? And there's a separate video on that. If it refers to one item, uh, and I gave you an example of this, but um, find a probability that a a book, um, and there's a lot of randomness thrown in there. I'm not saying, but uh, find a probability that a book has an average number of pages less than 200. Um, let's see, many items. This would be um, like find a probability that 30 people have an average age greater than 50. So we're talking about more than one. So we're talking about um, more than one book, more than one person, more than one car, whatever you're, whatever you're studying. And the last one, it'll actually say normals approximation of the binomial. Now specifically in this video, we're taking a look at this right here, the one item. Okay, so the setup for our problem. Let's say the instructions tell us that the, um, eh, yeah, let's say age. Let's say the average age is 60 and the standard deviation is 5. So mu is our population mean, so mu is 60 and sigma, um, our population standard deviation is 5. Our first example, this is the less than case. We're going to find the probability that x is less than 58.1. Okay, well the HP prime is based upon the area to the left. So here's 58.1, and when we say less than, that's this right here. Now remember, I say, I say area, but remember there's different words for area. Probability is uh, equivalent to area in terms of what we're, we're studying. Also, you can have proportion or percentage. Okay, so less than, it's shaded left, so it's, it's ready to plug into our calculator. Okay, so let me get the HP prime up here. And let me move it over here. Now, if you're not already on the screen, if you're back um, anywhere, if you're under the apps here, if you're in under any of these, for example, if I were to go into function, now, wherever you might be, if you press home, it'll take you here. Um, so you don't have to be in a specific uh, app or anything. If you're back here at apps, if you simply uh, press the home, it takes you here. Okay, so we're going to press the toolbox here. This, is, this brings up the menu. We want to choose probability. Now, you should have your math option selected here. If one of these other ones selected, then make sure you choose math. And... Um, how you can choose math, by the way, is that I believe the HP Prime has a touch screen, so you can just touch touch this. Um, on my emulator here, I can just click these to go back and forth between them. Okay, anyway, you want to be under math. We want to choose probability, so I'll choose the 5 that's in front of it. So I'll press 5. We want to choose cumulative. That's where you add in all the probabilities in a range. So I'll do 6. And we want to choose normal, the first one. Now our parameters for this is the mean standard deviation of the next. So our mean we said was 60, comma, our standard deviation which is 5, comma, x which is 58.1. And that's x assuming we're um, looking at the area to the left. And then I'll press enter. Okay, so that gives us 0.35, um, if I round it to four decimal places, is that seven, so rounds up. So 0 .3, 0 0.3520. And that would be our answer. Now let's look at the greater than case. I got x is greater than 55. Okay, well, if I look at the picture, it doesn't matter where you put 55. I always just throw them in the middle. 
because we're just trying to give visual visual of it. Greater than is shaded this way. Well, HP prime is based upon the area to the left. So how we're going to rewrite this is you do one minus that same picture with 55 down here, but it's shaded to the left. Now one is everything. So if you imagine your normal distribution here, the entire thing shaded. If I subtract off the area to the left, that'll leave me the area to the right, which is what we're wanting. So this is how we're going to enter it in. Okay, so let me go back to the calculator. And I'm going to do 1 minus, and then choose my toolbox. And I'm going to choose 5 for probability. I'm going to choose 6 for cumulative. I'm going to choose 1 for normal. Put in my mean first, which was 60, comma, standard deviation, which was 5, comma, and then we'll put in 55. And press enter. And rounded to four decimal places, we've got 0 0.8413. Okay, and then our last case. Where are you going to have it between two values? We got 55.2 is less than x is less than 60. So x is between 55.2 and 60. Okay, well, if I graph that, here's 55.2, and here's 60. Again, our um, our HP prime is based upon the area of the left, which this doesn't fit. So the way I'm going to rewrite it is you have 60 here, then shade to the left, minus, and then you have 55. Point two shaded left. Okay, now um, this this right here, the um, if I think of this and if I subtract off, like here's here's the line for fifty five point two. If I subtract off this portion, that'll leave me the area in the middle. And it's always of this form. When you got between two values, then your larger number you put here first, and and then shade to left then your minus, and then you put your smaller number right here, and you shade it left. And now it's ready to put in the calculator. Um, let me move this. There we go. So I'll do this first one. So I'm going to do my, my um, toolbox, bring up the menu, choose 5 for probability, I choose 6 for cumulative, and I choose 1 for normal. And I'll put in my mean, which is um, 60, comma, standard deviation, which is 5, comma, the x value. And the x value is the number down here. So I'll put in 60. Now look where my um, cursor is. It's right after the 60 before the parentheses. I have to do a right arrow key to get out of the parentheses. And then I'll do my minus. It's right here. And then I'll do my second one. So I'll choose my toolbox menu and bring up um, probability, 5. Choose 6 for cumulative. Choose 1 for normal. And I'll put in my mean, which was 60, comma, and then my standard deviation, which is 5, comma, and then my x value, which in this case is 55.2. And then I'll press enter. And we get 0.3315, rounded to four decimal places. 0.3315. And that would be our answer. Now sometimes they have a third or a fourth um, type where you have probability like x is less than 40 or x is greater than 61. But we already looked at the less than case up above. We already looked at the greater than case up above. So what you do is you find this, you find this, and the OR tells you you're going to add them together. And you could put this into one one line. This could be your your um, uh, pr HP prime function here, the normal D underscore CDF. And this could be your HP prime function, normal D underscore CDF. And um, then with a plus between them. Or you could do them separate and just add them. But anyway, 
those top three cases are the ones that encompass all of them. Now this was based upon uh, where we're, and I didn't write the, a specific problem out, but like we're, we're um, picking out somebody at random, we're finding the, um, the probability that a person has an age less than 58.1. Our person has a age greater than 55, so we're talking about one item, one person. In other, in the next video, we'll take a look at many items. We're taking a look at 30 people and find out that their average age is less than 58.1, and that's also known as a central limit theorem.